Welcome back to a very long awaited video. I have been dying to film the In Motion Adventurer video for what feels like close to a month. I've had it since before Christmas, but Queensland just got bombarded with storm after storm after storm, and I just haven't had a chance to get out with the camera gear and actually film my impressions. Scotty. Who's Scotty? Now I've done probably close to 500k on this over that holiday period and I can tell you straight away if you don't have time to watch the whole video I am super super impressed. The progressive spring is a game changer for me on this type of wheel. So today we're going to go out we're going to do a mix of both. We've got some really nice paths around here we've got some really really awesome trails over here. Hope you enjoy the video as always if you've got any comments or questions chuck them down below. If you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up uh, and if yeah if you've got any feedbacks if you've got one of these already comment below let me know what you think because I think this, because it got a little bit delayed in production, I think it's kind of like the, the forgotten stepchild. But I think when people try it, it's going to really, really impress them. So enough talking, let's get the helmet uh, and let's go for a ride. Off with the boring brochure stuff. It's a 4,000 watt motor, maxes out at 9,000 watts. It's a 2,400 watt battery. Now these are the 50 E's or GB cells, kind of the same thing. From batch two, there will be a second option available. You can choose the 50 S cells. So you'll have the, the choice of the 50 GB's or the 50 S's from then. It comes in around 39 kilos, 39.40, depending on what scales you use. And it has a max rider weight of 140 kilos. A couple of really cool things that I was impressed with. It comes with these pads you can see on the side. These are made by Bedow, the same pads that we sell with the Patterns and the Sherman S's. Really, really good quality pads. But it also comes with the mounting plate. So over the battery, you can stick on two really nice thick pieces of Perspex to mount those pads or any pads you want to. The tyre is a 16 by 3 inch, it comes standard with this knobby. This knobby handles really nicely. There are some out there which are just a nightmare. For example, the one that came standard on the S22, that just didn't turn. This one is really nice. It feels good, it turns. Of course it's not going to be optimal for racing if you choose to take this on the track. You'll probably want to put a Pirelli Angel or a Diablo on there, something like that for, for more traction, more stick. But for everyday city riding and off-road riding, it's a really, really good tire choice. Woo. Thanks for those knobbies. A bit of mud there I didn't see. Now a couple of things to comment on, it does have the same pedals as the V13. So really nice and long with some, some pretty basic uh, nubs. They do a good job. Um, if you're going to be doing extreme riding, I would, I would definitely suggest upgrading them. But they're pretty grippy, you know. You combine them with the pads, they, they do a really, really nice job. Now the board is where it gets interesting. This is running the Raptor board. It's the same version of board that's in the V13. Slightly tweaked for this particular model, obviously. But it's got 42 MOSFETs and 18 capacitors. 42 MOSFETs. So this is a beast of a board in here um, and very, very reliable. We did see that one instance in that batch one with Marty. We had an issue. That was a hall sensor. Apparently they worked it out and they've addressed it. We've had no issues with this one. It's going really, really well. As I said, I've done close to 500K on it over Christmas. Charged it multiple times. No issues so far. So that's a good thing. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. I've got three or four things little things that I think could be improved with this wheel, which I'll share with you towards the end.
I should also mention the climbing angle. This is a talky little beast of a wheel. They're climbing 50 degrees. I have seen a lot of footage of this going up very, very steep slopes. We just don't have any like that here in Brisbane, so I can't test out that claim. But I'm sure if you look online and type in incline test V14, you'll, uh, you'll come across a few different tests. But of course, off-road is where you're gonna have the most fun. Oh, muddy <laughs> with this wheel. I'll do my best to get some nice footage today, but as I mentioned, the storms have really caused havoc here. So hopefully we can get some nice trails in. But uh, so far it's looking like a lot of it might be washed out. So there might need to be a part two for off-road riding, because so far a lot of the paths are actually still underwater. This one's just okay. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Big bloody sharp rocks. You never know which way they're gonna throw you. The ramble, sounds like fun. So, 4,000 watt motor, peaks out at 900, 9,000, 2,400 watt Samsung cells. You have the option of those two different types. Soon, as of right now, we've only got the GBs, which are super capable, really, really good capacity. 50s is just to have that little bit more discharge and there's a whole lot of arguments going around about what's better and the 50s is as far as cycle count i'll let you guys do your research on that i've got a whole lot of skateboards with 50s cells and i haven't had a problem with any of them see all the stuff here this is actually all washed down here see this all these brown leaves these are actually washed here by flood water which is crazy um 39 to 40 kilos depending on what scales you use but honestly, I think I said it in my intro, I think, is the suspension on this, which makes this wheel probably my absolute favorite at the moment. You know, my, my go-to wheel is a V12, high torque or high speed. This is just like that, but on steroids, with suspension. And it's not just any suspension, you know, we're not talking S19 suspension, we're not talking V11 suspension. I would even go out on a limb, and I'm gonna get a lot of comments, probably a little bit of hate comments, this is even better than the pattern suspension because of that progressive spring. Yes, the pattern now has a 70 pound, which is nice for those heavier riders, but I know people with my weight who are still bottoming out. Oh, it's bumpy. I know people who are still bottoming out that 70. And to carry on from my previous statement, the torque on this thing, being that 4,000 watt motor with the 16 inch rim, whew, it just gets up and goes. It's, it's like addictive. Um, it gets up zero to 50, it just gets there crazy fast, which is just, it's intoxicating. It's, it's addictive, it's so much fun. Progressive spring. Mwah. What are the couple of small things that frustrate me about the in motion adventure? Well, I've already mentioned one, and that's the handle. The fact that it's a little bit loosey goosey when it's fully extended. Not a big deal, I know. If you go down one click, it's really stable and feels fantastic. So I would recommend they just lock it off there. So if you go up there, you are just gonna bend it. It's gonna be bent before you know it, I think. 
The second point, I don't like I don't like the lift switch. So I wish there was something you could just touch or push. You have to double click this in a certain, a certain speed. Got it. And it goes into what they call park mode. Same thing when you stand it up, double click again, and it goes back. Not a big deal, just a little bit annoying. And the last thing is classic in motion, and this is true with all in motion wheels. You cannot turn it on when it's sitting down like that. So if I push the power button, it does not turn on. I think InMotion is the only company that does this. So you have to stand it up, balance it, and then turn it on. Now I know that's first world problems, but I just like to point it out because some people, it grates on some people a lot. It annoys me a little bit. Some people get really frustrated that, that particular feature isn't there. But as far as things I don't like, that is it. Love the motor, love the way it handles, love the battery, love the pedal clearance. I haven't talked about this, but the pedal clearance on this is fantastic. You can take on trails and go through a few places with roots and so on, and you're not gonna be second guessing yourself if your pedals are gonna clip. Uh, what else do I love about it? The headlight's nice, the heads up display is really easy to read. The fact that you've got a comfort mode and a sport mode, I really like that. Uh, the included pads, the included side panels, so you can mount any pads you want on there, that's a really big tick, included in the box. Uh, yeah, and just the general aesthetics. Everyone who comes into the shop and sees it, goes, man, that looks nice in person. Like, when you see that pop of orange and black and then that white progressive spring, it's just so contrasting, it looks, it looks really good. One other thing, and this is an odd thing to say that I do like, I like the fact they haven't weighed it down with things like speakers and RGB lights and stuff. Yeah, those things are nice to have on some wheels, but a wheel like this, a performance wheel, something that's designed to be ridden really hard, really fast, off-road, and yeah, it's a really lovely cruiser wheel as well, but they haven't, they haven't sort of succumbed to, to the, the pressures of, I guess, other, other wheels, S19, S16, that sort of thing and put speakers and flashy lights in it. They've kept it as a true, a true off-road wheel, which is really nice. Almost said warrior then, but I knew it was gonna be corny, so I stuttered and I changed it to wheel. So woo, 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 warrior, no, wheel. That is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. <sighs> massive thumbs up. Massive, massive thumbs up for the InMotion Adventurer. Love this wheel, love the size, love the weight. It's just an awesome, awesome wheel. Uh, any comments or questions, chuck them down below. And like I said at the beginning, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this content, if you found it useful, entertaining, or so on. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to skate safe, wheel safe, ride safe. Wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah.